My name is Jean Monestim. Uh, I'm the current uh, chair of Miami-Dade County Board of County Commissioners. The, the county is, is, uh, is kind of like a regional government. Uh, uh, the, the county has uh, a number of uh, cities and, and, and we also, uh, I'm talking about 35 cities, and we also have uh, two-thirds of the county that is represented uh, uh, by the unincorporated area. Um, so we provide um, uh, municipal services, I would say, to these uh, 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 unincorporated areas. Uh, for other things that uh, has to do within the cities, the cities themselves provide these services unless we have an interlocal agreement with those municipalities to work uh, mutually on certain issues and certain aspects of uh, people's life. I have introduced uh, a, a, a committee structure that is uh, uh, somewhat unconventional and different than they usually uh, 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 organize in the past, um, primarily ensuring that uh, the committee structure that I have um, is based on, on, on the services that we provide instead of just reporting uh, uh, um, by the administration to those uh, services. Um, that's in a way of uh, uh, developing a certain um, uh, control over which priorities are set by these committees uh, uh, going into the budget uh, of the county at the end of the year. My goal is, is first uh, to um, see how we can effectively uh, close the income inequality gap uh, and the wage disparity uh, that is uh, shown throughout uh, uh, this county. Um, um, and, and we're working uh, toward that uh, under the, uh, um, the Chairman's Prosperity Council that I've established. And I have a number of my colleagues, uh, particularly Barbara Jordan and, and Daniela Levin Cava. Mm -hmm. Uh, that I've appointed to serve with me on the Chairman's Prosperity Council. Another goal is to, uh, uh, in partnership with uh, my Vice Chair of the Board, who is also Chair of Transportation, Commissioner Bovo, is to craft a, a vision uh, uh, toward alleviating uh, our uh, transit uh, problem, mm -hmm. uh, thereby um, crafting a vision that will uh, help um, Miami-Dade County uh, build a uh, better uh, transit infrastructure. These two that I just mentioned, uh, the wage disparity and transportation are interrelated. For example, if, you, uh, if most people in the county that drive right now would ride transit, uh, statistics have uh, shown that uh, uh, particular individuals would save approximately $10,000 for not driving the car. Um, so. Um, that's one way of cl closing the gap because these $10,000 would be in the hands of this individual or the family as disposable income. And being disposable income, this person can spend these funds in anything possible, like uh, additional shopping for clothing, uh, better housing, uh, time out with the family, eating at restaurants, mm -hmm. and so forth and so on. So uh, simple things like that. Uh, when one... Um, uh, drives a car, you may not think that you're incurring uh, close to $10,000 in expenses, uh, but if you, for example, um, uh, fill up your tank every week for $70, that is close to $4,000 right there. <laughs> and if you have to service your car, uh, if you have major repair on that car, um, on occasion, if you have to drive your car away for vacation, or you have to rent a car, that this is kind of like what amounts to that $10,000. And if you were in state to ride public transit, uh, that money would be saved. That's exactly why we're encouraging people to ride public transit and also encouraging employers to basically buy uh, public transit passes at a discount and offer them to your employees mm -hmm. as an incentive. And, and, and that will help uh, in, in a way close the gap. But also what helps close the gap is um, creating more job opportunities for people by providing them an opportunity to be 
a trend or retrain for, uh, for, for, mm -hmm. for another job. Uh, providing them access uh, to uh, uh, um, better housing. Uh, uh, if, if more first-time home buyer is, uh, has an opportunity to uh, own uh, their home because uh, there are some subsidies provided by local government or federal government or uh, state government but that, but for that matter, long-term, this individual is building wealth and creating wealth and thereby helping close the gap. Some of the uh, uh, creative uh, 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 policies that's been established here, one is uh, um, that I've sponsored the uh, Resident First and also uh, Resident First requires that uh, uh, developers that obtain uh, county dollars or uh, county real estate in, in terms of land uh, provide an opportunity to hire uh, uh, f within, from within the county uh, first. And, uh, and I think that's a good opportunity for communities to benefit from their own tax dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, another one is uh, the um, uh, uh, incentive providing, provided to uh, uh, vendors that are headquartered in, in the county to do business with the county by pro pro providing them additional uh, points mm -hmm. uh, uh, as they compete with others that are outside okay. the, uh, the county uh, boundaries. So I, I think um, those help, uh, those decisions not only just provide jobs to Miami-Dade County residents, but also help stimulate Miami-Dade County's mm -hmm. economy. Uh, it's helped the dollars to circulate and recirculate here in, in our community. Some of the incentives may be water and sewer connections. Okay. Some of the incentives may be um, uh, allowing um, uh, the, a, a certain timeline, al allowing these companies to go through a permitting process within a particular ti a timeline. Let's say if they were expecting to uh, take like 90 uh, to, I mean, n nine months to a year that uh, the, 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 the county could put a, a, a committee together of different uh, 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 permit uh, representative, permit regula regulatory representative mm -hmm. to come together and, uh, and, 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 and accelerate the okay. permitting process for these okay. individuals. Uh, some of it may be... Uh, other things that uh, creatively may come up uh, as we try to attract uh, these uh, companies to the okay. to the okay. to the blighted areas. I think this this is uh, uh, the challenge uh, faced by every major or larger metropolitan area, and that's when urban planning uh, should be at its best. Um, uh, my my responsibility is challenge our planners. Uh, to uh, uh, advise us in the most uh, possible, most efficient way of uh, de developing uh, within the urban core. And um, to the extent that we do that, uh, I think uh, uh, our citizens will benefit greatly from uh, the leadership of the county. But Commissioner Suarez and I, we uh, have uh, uh, proposed legislation that requires the county to apply for a grant uh, uh, from the uh, Children's Trust and also uh, uh, identify $2.5 million that will help in creating um, uh, approximately 1,300 jobs for our high school student uh, this summer. So um, in the event that we do that, more uh, high school students will have an opportunity uh, to uh, not only earn uh, some money that they can spend uh, uh, on their own uh, personal needs, mm -hmm. but also alleviate those families that are financially challenged that would have to provide this extra dollar yeah. for this uh, youngster uh, or for this youth uh, to go to the movies, to buy clothing, and to, uh, to go out with his or her friends.